Hey guys, Guy Cushion 9 here again with the next Let's Play Legend of Zelda 4 Swords Adventures video. In this video, we'll be covering the second course of the game, the Cave of No Return. Oh boy, I do hope I get the return here. Now, as you notice, this place is very dark. But look at that, we got a lamp. If it's chilly, we can burn stuff with it. It, uh, the lamp functions as basically a crude fire rod. Basically, you can set stuff on fire still, but it basically also... Its main use is to serve as light. And, um... Something that I just noticed is that in this game, you can actually break pots with your sword. Uh, which I guess was explained in Minish Cap, because you'll learn that as an ability. And I think you'll see a few of those abilities in this game, too. Like a lunge attack or so. But, uh, we got a Shadow Link, so, uh, position Red Link there, and Green Link go forward. And he's dead. Already. Alright, look at that. Yeah, as usual, 100 gems. And lighting these lights will give you a few Force Gems, too, so... And that one's even better, because it gives you, uh, I guess, 250. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, um, this is one of the, this is pretty much one of the few games that you can actually break pots without a power bracelet. Because since this game focuses more on, um, like your sword play and all that, and less on the offensive items, like the lamp and the boomerang, uh, I suppose, you know, they had to. But yeah, getting back, yeah, um, and Minish Cap does kind of explain, like, one or two things. Like, um, I do remember, like, a master teaches you an ability to break pots. Uh, quickly, in order to get to this, uh, through this fire ring, you push these stones into the corner. And down goes the light. And you get a key! And so obviously there's a keyhole. But yeah, um, I'm not sure, I can't remember offhand how many abilities, like, what the abilities were in Minish Cap that you learned. Um, I don't know, like, a few things you don't see elsewhere is, like, the downward thrust thing back in the... Uh, second video, the video before this. Um, there's also a lunge strike that you can do too. You can like um, slash twice, and then if you slash in a different direction, you'll have Link lunge forward. Or you just like you put a direction when you go to third slash. All right. So uh, the thing about this room is that there's a bunch of uh, uh, largish blocks, and you just push them out of the way. But uh, the game is a little nice to you. It kind of shows you where to push them. Alright, so we need a key, because obviously that door's locked. So, you gotta push this thing here. Um, enemy-wise, this place is actually pretty light on it compared to the last spot, because those, the, you know, the last cross had Octoroks and stuff like that. The worst you'll see here are, like, pretty stationary targets, or they don't fire anything at you. The rats are probably the most dangerous things here. Alright, so, another small key, so let's go to that keyhole, finally. And yeah, these are going to be short videos, this course here. I was really hoping I could get it into one video. But, um, yeah, it was about 13 minutes, so I couldn't make it. So, uh, getting off of that for a sec. These colored blocks, in order to push these blocks, you have to use this specific link. So, if it's a purple block, you have to get purple link. If it's a red block, you have to get red link. Um, you don't have to push all of them, per se, but, um... Uh, it'd be wise to explore the room since, um, you can get the most stuff that way. And there's no real way, uh, like, specific way to push it just yet. And even, even at the part where they do, they pretty much show you how to. Alright, so it's kind of pointless to push the blocks there, but... Oh, wow, 200! A glowing light surrounds me! Now, uh, yeah, that switch opens an unnecessary shortcut, but... Here's where you have to do it in order. So, get red, then blue, then purple, and green. It's pretty self-explanatory. And you can see, you can actually grab your separate links if you wanted to. Like, um, in multiplayer, you gotta do that sometimes in order to reach, uh, ca uh gaps that normally are, you know, missing. Alright, so in this room, we have floor traps! Oh no! Uh, luckily, these floor traps don't hurt Link or anything, they just send them down here. Uh, as you can see, there are four outlines, so obviously there are four floor traps. There are only two, though, that you should really fall down, and that one was not one of them. That one there, though, yes. Now, be careful of those enemies, though. Um, I forgot what they're calling, like, anti fairies or whatever, but uh, you can only kill them with boomerangs, I believe. Uh, you can't kill them with swords, so beware. 
So yeah, as I saw, I got a heart container, so now I'm up to five hearts. And yes, uh, that confirms that the heart containers do reset whenever you start a new course. So, oh well. Man, uh, how many hearts would we have at the end, huh? Uh, okay, so you got a bunch of these plant things. I don't know how I got hurt there, but... Um, yeah, there's the other trap that you need to fall down under. Uh, but all it gives is a hundred, so not much of a use. Uh, oh, look, a heart. Yay. Alright, so there's no need to fall down that last trap, but uh, once that you uh, trigger the traps, they stay open so you know where they are. And uh, I like these uh, torches here for no reason. There's really no reason to, actually. It just uh, makes things a little clearer, I suppose. <laughs> Now this room sucks. This room sucks a lot. Uh, you'll see why in a sec. There's a lot of pots, and there's a keyhole up in the north in that previous room, so we gotta find a key. And the key is hidden in one of these pots. The problem is these lantern things uh, fire fireballs at you. And they can get annoying. As you can see, I'll spend like probably 20 or so seconds trying to get this key because the damn things keep hurting me. And like, yes, I finally escaped. But there's actually, there's actually one other thing that you need to get, and I'll skip ahead to it here. Alright, so I'm exploring uh, the south part, south middle part, you'll find a forest fairy. And then in the um, north middle part, you'll find a switch that reveals this chest. And there you have heart container number six. Well, your second one for the course, but yeah. But sadly, I gotta end it here. This is Guy Cushion 9. And then the next video, I'll finish up this course. So see you later, guys.